Hello, it is Saturday the 29th of February. It's a leap year, which I didn't know until yesterday. Um, I'm just standing so that chicken coop. So, today I've schooled Bobby. I will insert a clip. So just cleaned out the chicken coop. Um, this is the show. chicken coop. That box is there just basically because like, I've got no else to put the feed. This is just a temporary measure until we can get a chicken coop. But um, I've literally just cleaned this and there's always one that has to come in and like scatter everywhere. But it's cool. Um, but yeah, they lay their eggs in there. So none of them seem to want to sleep in there. And then they all try and get in here, which is... But yeah, like I said, it is only a temporary measure until we get a chicken coop. Um, I don't even know if we are going to buy another chicken coop. I think we are just planning on building like nesting boxes and um, oh god, um, things that they can climb up high in. Um, I do want more chickens, but obviously because we haven't built nesting boxes and that, I don't really want to buy any more for them to all be like super cramped up. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed the evening routine i know it wasn't like the best um it's pretty basic in the evening because like i said i do everything in the morning but yeah i'm pretty much just chilling with the chickens now um they all look amazing so i rescued three hens from um a chicken farm in january and they, they came pretty much with no feathers so i try and insert pictures here But now they're literally looking incredible. They've all pretty much got their feathers back. There is one here. Let me one show that you. hasn't really got much feathers back. That's one of the rescued one, and she just looks amazing. And then that one there, she's another rescue. And yeah, at the moment they are just kind of like chilling, free ranging. Um, I just don't want them to go out my gate. Yeah, this area is all my garden, so they can just pretty much free range all around it and this is basically where they're kept if like I'm not home so you can kind of tell they've trashed this and it's been here for like two three weeks so I need to kind of sort that all we out. We do try and free range as much as we can just because that's pretty much what I got them for I didn't really want them to be locked up um, I'm not really bothered about eggs to be honest we do get eggs we get about two or three eggs a day um, but it's just a bonus so um, yeah, emptying these two pigsties out. Um, don't know what we're doing with it. And then we're going to get all these fences fixed and raised a little bit just so the chickens can't fly out. Ben really wants to get some sheep or something, but obviously we can't get a small holding number. Um, so we need to kind of go through that and get a holding number just so we can get sheep. Um, yes. But yeah, like I was saying, I have quickly done a quick lunch with Bobby this morning um I wasn't originally going to because we had like a little bit of a um snow bit of a snow earlier so I literally came outside I was like nah I'm gonna have to cancel the school and then it turned out to be quite a nice day it did rain a little bit but um Bobby was amazing he's doing so well um I couldn't get him to go around on the lunch line like that way around it'll go around that way because obviously that's the way that they've raced and that, I think that's the problem with X racers they kind of have only gone around the race course in one way and not obviously the other way so it's kind of just it's been a long process I mean we've had them for a year in June but um, not in no rush to be honest I don't really care if he's just a happy hacker or if he just wants to be a field pet it doesn't really bother me I mean I am planning on riding him and if we can i'd love to do some jumping next year um i don't really want to rush it too much because I've, I've still got to learn to ride him um and there's still a lot of bonding to do i mean we are getting there 
which is amazing. I've just realised how much I am rambling on. But I need to mow the lawn. It's quite long. I just... The weather just hasn't been great for it, so... But yeah. today I haven't actually got anything planned. It's so windy. Um, it's just a chill day, if I'm honest with you. view from my back garden. Um, and in the summer we get like a... Oh, I forgot what they're called. But basically we get all like the fertiliser to come into our garden. Oh my God, it is so windy. It's clean out. Um, that's from the last people here. And as you can see, it's, see, it's kind of like two old pigsties. So the ones like in the back there. And then they've got this little bit. So I'd love to be able to do something with it if I can. But this morning we went food shopping and did all that. Um, went to Subway, but I had a salad because I'm on Slimming World diet. Um, and yeah, I've pretty much chilled to be honest with you. Uh, so now I've just made myself a nice cup of coffee, as always. Miss is always right. And I'm just going to watch some YouTube and I'm going to edit this video whilst I'm at it because I literally hate when I've got so much footage and I do it at the last minute and then it never comes out in time. But I am sticking to my guns and I am going to make sure that I upload more often. Even when I go back to work, I am going to make sure that I upload, um, even if it's a sit down video or <sighs> yeah. So I was meant to have the physio out this morning and I had to cancel her. Um, so I've got to try and rebook her when I can. She has already had um, permission off the vet because obviously they have to get permission from the vets to um, come out and do physio just to make sure that there is no ongoing problems already and to make sure that she's kind of covered so that she isn't going to um, upset any injuries, if that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, she said I can just basically rebook it because she's already got the permission from the vets, which is perfect. So I'm going to stop rambling now until I've got anything else to say, really. Um, I might make this into a weekend kind of vlog. Um, I have filmed my morning routine, so I need to get that edited. And that will either be out tomorrow, which is Sunday, or Monday. It's going to be out one of those days. Um... But yeah, I, I think this video is going to be quite long as it is. And I've only just started talking to the camera. Um, I yeah. forgot to mention, I went to my weigh-in on Wednesday. Um, which was my fourth weigh-in. So four weeks on being Simmer World. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to lose much. Um, because I had, I had a really crap week, let's be honest. I ate crap. And I've done it again. So I literally... <laughs> Thursday I had a HP. Yesterday, which was Friday, I had a McDonald's. So I'm kind of just... I'm going to do a home workout and try and burn all the calories off. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I had my weigh in and I lost another £4. So in three weeks, I've lost £8.5. So I am super... I'm super proud. Um, so next week i kind of want to maintain or lose like pound or something so i'm because i am only five and a half pounds away from one stone which is amazing um but yeah i think i am going to do a video on my weight loss journey just because i have tried other weight losses i've tried shakes um and i tried the gym and healthy eating and that just didn't work and i think i was just eating all the wrong things i was cutting out too much of stuff that I can have and yeah I've seemed to have lost more weight doing this than I have before so yeah look out for that video if I decide to do it I will do it but um I'll speak to you later because I'm again I'm rambling on but yeah speak spoon oh my god it is Sunday the 1st of March and I'm just mucking out the stable I have actually mucked it out um, I think it's about 10 past 9 yeah so just at the yard um, it's such a nice day like honestly skies and sunshine 
Stables all mocked out. Lovely. It was beautiful this morning and now it's gone really windy, which I do not appreciate. I'm not going to lie. This is Nugget. She is a um Can you even see her? Brilliant. The, um, a bantam. So the eggs that she lay are really small and cute. Um, she's probably one of the friendliest hens that we have got. She just doesn't care about being handled. Um, so yeah. You're a little cutie, aren't you? Yeah. Hey? Oh, she's just beautiful. She is one of our fatter hens as well, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Brilliant. This is Frazzle. She is a black frizzle. Um, she's got all these beautiful feathers. And they're not known for laying eggs. They lay about 120 to 200 eggs a year. But she's a little cutie. She's not... She's one of the smallest hens we have got. She's quite small and she doesn't really like being picked up but i'm trying to get her used to it so we'll get there but this is frazzle this is one of our rescues and she's the one with the most feathers i think no she's not so this one i think i'm going to call her mabel um but it's really hard to tell each bird different but she's just not very keen on being picked up obviously I don't get picked up but still got a lot of work but she's one of the rescues I'm trying to catch them all now go on in go <laughs> this is Dixie she is a gold birchin and she's got gold neck brown feathers she's one of our layers at the moment um, she only lays eggs about this big, but she's another Bantam breed, I think. Again, she doesn't really like being picked up, but I just need to handle them more. But yeah, she's a little cutie. I think she's about eight, nine months old, so she's still got growing to do, but this is Dix. This is another rescue. She's the one, oh my god, Nugget! She's the one with the most feathers. She's another Rhode Island Red. And I think I'm going to call her Ryanetta after our farrier. So I put some suggestions on Instagram. I asked him for some names. And my farrier, Ryan, said, call her Ryanetta. So she's called Ryanetta. <laughs> so this is another Rhode Island Red. Oh my god, she's the one with the least amount of feathers, she hates being handled, so she'll try and put me, I'm going to call her Peggy, I think, but yeah, Nugget, and last but not least, this is Pumpkin, go on, she is same breed as Nugget, but um, She's a little bit smaller. She's so fast on her feet, but she's not laying at the moment. Um, but yeah, she's called Pumpkin. She's another Bantam. So, yeah, she's a bit more relaxed, I think. But she's a little cutie, isn't she? So this is Pump. So those are our seven chickens. They are so noisy. I think we've got one laying at the moment. Let me just lay in. She's just being so noisy. I think she's ready to lay in. Chickens are out. Beautiful. Hi guys, so... <coughs> um, still Sunday. I haven't really done much. I've just been preparing our roast dinner. So I've cut the vegetables up and I've put the gammon in. Um, at the moment I'm watching a documentary. It's called On BBC iPlayer. And it's 
about Rio and Kate, so Rio Ferdinand, because how Kate, they become like a step family kind of thing, and I'm really enjoying it. Excuse my hair. Um, I've just been out running errands, I had to go and get some fuel, and then I had to go and buy some chicken feed. So, that's one thing off the list. <coughs> um, but yeah, I don't really do much on Sundays. I am, I booked the school for this afternoon at 20 past four. And I'm going to, I'll film that so you'll see it. But I'm going to have a sit on Bob, see how he is and see where we go from that. Because if I just don't do it now, I ain't never going to do it. That's the problem with me. If I don't pluck up the courage now, I know for a fact that when it comes out to hacking, I'm not going to do it. So I'd rather build up my courage, make sure that I am confident um, to ride him. And then hopefully in the summer be hacking. So, yeah. I also want to get a GoPro to put on my helmet because I think that would be so much easier than having to put a phone somewhere or holding my phone because I'd rather I'd rather feel safe, basically. But, yeah, not much else to hey. say. So it is now half past three. I've just plaited my hair because it's a right mess and it's easy to get into my helmet, my riding hat. Um, so I know I said I don't really do much on Sundays. Well, I've kind of just done a quick speedy clean of my car because it's absolutely filthy so that's done um but apart from that i haven't really done much my roast dinner was delicious not gonna lie but yeah i haven't yet done my home workout i'm gonna do that later on because my legs and my bum are absolutely killing me so Wait, i want to show you this this is from one of my from a lovely business called Feather and Flame Handmade and I got this at Christmas time but staying in my house because it's cute and it's on the wonk which is really Just annoying. These from another um, small company called Feather and Bramble Norfolk. Um, that's actually our dog, Zeus. And then she's done me, I, can't, I don't know if you can see it, a fox and a pheasant which I think look really nice. Um, I do want to paint my wall like this sort of colour um, maybe like on this wall and I want to like spray paint the mirror silver or something because it just doesn't I'm not vibing it like excuse the mess but this is my living room right now and I'm just not I'm just not vibing it it just doesn't feel homely feeling where somewhere just doesn't feel homely oh my god I can start seeing my colour bones got a bit yeah. sidetracked but do you know when you just feel like some like a room just doesn't feel homely um i think it's because we haven't got loads of furniture um but we will get there soon hopefully um yeah i still haven't put pictures in that clock excuse all this stuff this is for um horse riding when i go i'm leaving in about what time is it 20 minutes um i'm gonna go give him a groom tack him up um, quickly lunge him just so he hasn't got all that energy from the grass in him before I get on him and then I'm gonna sit on him walk him around the arena see how he is I'll probably sit on him for 10 minutes um, depending how I feel might do a bit of pole work but I don't really want to push it like it's the first time in a while since I sat on him and I'm not gonna lie I am really nervous um, I'm just hoping that the yard isn't too busy because I feel like really on edge if people are watching me I feel like I'm doing something wrong um yeah so I'm I am hoping that no one's at the yard <sighs> I guess this is kind of a confidence thing like if someone's there to say oh yeah you're doing really well it's gonna make me want to do it more um I don't know I don't know if it's too early to get on him yet but he's like put all his weight on he looks amazing right now so <sighs> I think it's just me trying to make excuses. I think if I just lunge him and just get on him, um, we'll be fine because he is quite chill. I mean, I took him on like hack. I was hot a lot walking, walking next to him, and literally cars and everything went by. Like a really loud lawnmower was there, and then he saw some donkeys, and he just doesn't, he doesn't care. It's like he hasn't got a, a care in the world, which is good. But then am I thinking? <sighs> Is it because he hasn't got a ride on him? Um, but if he isn't quite right, I am going to contact my vet and get the physio person out. Um, 
just to be safe. But I've already spoken for a minute about crap. So I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you at the yard. So I didn't actually film me riding Bobby. I was more... I was quite nervous, but I had my two friends from the yard give me a confidence boost and give me some high morale. But I got hard him on him. We had a little walk around the arena. Um, I can't believe it. My legs weren't actually shaking for once. My posture wasn't the best, um, but it is what it is. He was such a good boy. He's so chill. Like I can't actually believe how relaxed he actually is. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here. But yeah, that's mine and Bob's first little ride of 2020 and I'm so excited. I am going to be riding him more next week as well because I've booked the arena. So I think every time I've got the arena now I'm going to try and get on him just so that our confidence increases. Um, and hopefully, well I had someone like kind of walk around with me just in case he did try and do anything. Um, but... I literally can't believe it, like I'm actually bursting with joy and I am so proud of me and Bob. Um, so yeah, can only get better. I am hoping that I actually get the confidence in time for summer and that we're both okay, um, at least trotting and walking, um, ready for hacking because I do want to go on a hack this year. Um, but I'm going to walk him up and down the road and that and I'm super bu super buzzed i can't i can't wait literally but i am so sorry i didn't get a video it is what it so, is so um today i haven't really got much else planned i'm literally doing nothing i've just got to bring him in tonight um but yeah i think i'm going to end this video here so thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry it wasn't too exciting um hope you enjoyed meeting my chickens too um but yeah You'll be seeing this on Monday, which is tomorrow. So, I'll see you for the next video. Thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me any comments for video ideas. But, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!